Hello second grade mathematicians. Today is all about estimation. When you estimate a number, it is a round. It is approximate. It's not exact. The way we estimate a number is with a skill that we call rounding. Rounding uses place value. If you think all the way back to the very beginning of the year, I know it's a very long time ago, but we learned about place value. And a place value tells us that numbers have homes and these homes have a value. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on two digit numbers, which means we're gonna be rounding to the tens place. Remember this chant as we move forward. Zero through four, you hit the floor. Five through nine, you climb the vine. Zero through four, hitting the floor, means that we round down to the to 110. Five through nine, climbing the vine, means we're gonna round up to the next 10. You might remember that chant from a long time ago, but don't worry. By the end of today, you will be able to confidently say, I can estimate sums of two two-digit numbers. Let's practice rounding with the number 24. 24 is a two-digit number. We're going to round to the tens place. This 10 shows that I have two tens, which is a value of 20. The number 24 appears between two separate tens. When we think about tens, we count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. On one side, I know that the number 20 appears. On the opposite side, I know 30 is on the bookend. So 24 is somewhere between 20 and 30. Because when again, when I count by tens, I say 10, 20, 30, 24 falls somewhere in between. Now I have to think if I'm going to round this number to the nearest 10, what is 24 closer to? Is it 20 or is it 30? The number in the ones place is gonna tell me what to do. So I'm gonna think of that rhyme. Zero through four, you hit the floor. Five through nine, you climb the vine. Well, four means hitting the floor. It's gonna round down. And 24 rounds down to 20. So 24 rounds to 20. I can also show this by using a number line. And I'm gonna draw a quick number line here. And a number line shows all the numbers that are there. So I'm gonna do 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And here's 30, and I'm gonna show 24. So again, 21, 22, 23, 24. Here is 24 on my number line. And I wanna think, what is it closest to? Well, on my number line, you can easily see that this 24 is closer to 20. So 24 would round down to 20. Let's try the same thing again with another number. This time, let's try 47. If I'm counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, I know 47 lies somewhere between 40 and 50. 47 appears between those two tens. I know the ones place is gonna tell me which way to round. Zero through four, hit the floor. Five through nine, climb the vine. Five through nine, climb the vine. Seven would round up to 50. So if I want to round the number 47, I would round up to 50. I can also show this like I did before on a number line. So I'm going to draw my number line here quickly. And I'm gonna start with 40 as my first 10. And in between these, I will have 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And again, I'm gonna go back and count to find 47. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Here is 47. If I'm looking on the number line, well, what is 47 closest to? Clearly you can see that 47 is closest to 50. So 47 rounds up to 50. This time we're gonna practice finding sums to an addition problem. But we're gonna be using estimation or rounding to help us. The problem says estimate the sums of 18 plus 39. 
Remember the word estimate means around. It's not exact. So we're not gonna be adding these for the actual answer. We're gonna use rounding. So first let's start with the number 18. We need to think about what 18 would round to. What is it closest to? Counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 18 falls somewhere between 10 and 20. It's gonna fall somewhere in between there. So eight, eight is the ones place. And I have to think, zero through four, hit the floor, five through nine, climb the vine. 18 is clearly closer to 20. So my first add-in for my estimation is gonna be 20. Let's take a look at the number 39. So again, thinking about where the number 39 falls in between. Um, counting up, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, one thing I've been noticing is that my placeholder for the tens place usually matches the value of the tens place in this number as well. So I noticed that the one here is also the same as here in my 10. So this needs to be between 30, that'd be my first number. 30 and if I'm counting by tens, 30 is followed by 40. Nine's gonna tell me what to do, 39. Zero through four, hit the floor, five through nine, climb the vine. And I know that right before the number 40 is the number 39, they are neighbors. So this one is definitely gonna round up to 40. Now I can estimate my sum. And I can use mental math for this because I know that there's a zero placeholder in the ones place. So I'm simply just adding the tens. And this should be a, in fact, you can do in a snap. So two plus four is six. And the zero, which is 60. So an estimate for 18 plus 39 is 60. I use rounding to help me find the sum. So that's how you estimate mathematicians with rounding. Always keep that chant in your mind. Zero through four, hit the floor. Five through nine, climb the vine. That little chant, if you have it in the back of your mind, will help you as you move forward with rounding. Good luck today, mathematicians.